Hello, Miss Dougal here, just giving you a quick video on how to use Seesaw. So Seesaw is a new platform that Foundation Phase are using for their distance learning, um, if and when they need it. So I'm just going to show you how to log in and how to navigate some bits and bobs around that. So once you've accessed web.seesaw.me or downloaded the app on an um, Apple or Android device, which will probably be the easiest thing to do, click login and you'll, you need to click I'm a student and you'll see down the bottom here there is space for a text code, a 16 digit text code or you can scan a QR code. Your child's class teacher will have given your child their QR code or their 16 digit code or both. Um, I can't scan the QR code because I'm filming so if I type in the 16 digit code press go and you can see now that this has accessed uh, the journal for um, a demo student but it will be for your child they will be able to see things that have already been uploaded to their journal if they've uploaded something in class and um, so you, some children might have work appear there that they've taken pictures of in class and have tagged to their profile to their journal but others might not have anything there and that's fine um, if you want to add something at home, you just click on this add button and you can choose then how you're going to post your work. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do photo because it's filming. No. Nope. So if I click on drawing, for example, um, you'll see these little buttons here at the side. You can edit it with text, voice recordings, which would be super helpful for those um, that for, for maybe reception who aren't um, uh using text so they might be able to record what they've done and they can edit it with um, speech as well so you can add a voice caption so as you talk it types um, if I go back okay once you've uploaded something or once you've edited something if you click the green tick here you'll then be able to submit it to a folder so if you submit it to a distance learning folder and click the green tick that will then upload to your child's journal for your class teacher to see um, and they can comment on it etc so i hope that's helpful and thank you